How to get rid of money worries. Ever feel like your wallet's playing a game of hide and seek with your cash? You're not alone. Today, we're tackling a topic that's as old as money itself. How to banish those nagging money worries. We're talking real, practical steps to turn your financial frown upside down. From savvy savings tips to smart spending strategies, we've got you covered. So, if you're ready to give your bank account a much-needed boost, stay tuned. And hey, while you're at it, hit that subscribe button for more awesome content that can help transform your financial journey. Number 10. Seek professional guidance. Feeling lost in the sea of financial troubles. It's like trying to navigate through a thick fog without a compass. But here's the good news. Professional guidance is like a lighthouse guiding you to safety. Reach out to a reliable and trusted expert whom you are comfortable with. Be it an accountant, bank manager, financial advisor, or counselor. They are equipped with the tools and knowledge to help you see the big picture. A hopping 78% of people who sought financial advice felt more in control of their finances. These professionals may help you prioritize debts, find hidden savings opportunities, and even plan your future financial goals by holding your hands. It's not just about making a budget, it's about creating a roadmap for your financial success. Number 9. Educate yourself about money. Money management isn't just a skill, it's an art, and like any art, it requires learning and practice. Diving into books on financial literacy can transform the way you view and handle money. For instance, many books out there have changed millions of lives by shifting their mindset from just earning money to making money work for them. It's all about understanding assets and liabilities. Did you know, according to a survey, financially literate people are much more likely to accumulate wealth and avoid debt. By educating yourself, you're not just reading, you're empowering yourself to make informed financial decisions. Number 8. Lottery isn't a financial plan. Relying on a lottery win for financial stability? That's like waiting for a rain dance to solve a drought. The odds of winning a big lottery can be 1 in 292.2 million. You're more likely to be hit by lightning. It may even drag the poor to be even poorer. Instead of leaving your financial future to chance, focus on creating achievable short and long-term financial plans. By setting realistic goals and working towards them, you're building a solid financial foundation. Think of it as constructing a financial fortress, one brick at a time. This approach not only brings financial security, but also peace of mind. Remember, a well-planned financial journey is more reliable than a random stroke of luck. Number 7. The Power of Cash Payments Paying with cash isn't just old school, it's smart finance. When you hand over those bills, it's a reality check on your spending. Psychologically, it's harder to part with physical money than swiping a card. In fact, studies have shown that people tend to spend less when using cash because it increases the pain of parting with money. And here's a sweet deal. Many small businesses and traders love cash payments. Why? It cuts down their card processing fees. So, they often pass on these savings to you in the form of discounts. Also, saving cash for larger purchases? That's a victory for your financial discipline. It means you're avoiding the siren call of instant gratification and steering clear of nasty credit card debt. Number 6. Ditch the credit card for a debit card. Is your credit card a little too hot to handle? It's time to cool things down with a debit card. When you use a debit card, it's like having a financial mirror reflecting your actual balance. No illusions, just reality. This switch is crucial because it aligns your spending with your real financial capacity. In the US alone, credit card debt hit a whopping $868 billion in 2019. That's a mountain of debt, largely due to spending money people don't have. A debit card, on the other hand, keeps you in your financial lane. No more overspending and no more scary credit card bills at the end of the month. It's about living within your means, which is a key step to financial freedom. Number 5. Clear your credit card monthly. Here's a financial life hack. Pay off your entire credit card balance every month. Doing this is like keeping your financial house tidy. No clutter, no stress. When you clear your balance, you're sidestepping one of the biggest financial traps, interest. Credit card interest rates can be sky high. In fact, the average credit card interest rate can hover around 16% to 24%.
By paying off your balance in full, you're not just avoiding these charges, you're also building a healthier credit score. This is crucial because your credit score affects everything from loan approvals and car rentals to renting apartments. And here's a sobering fact, carrying a balance can lead you into a debt spiral where you're paying more in interest than on the principal. Number four, keep your financial records tidy. Keeping your financial records organized is like keeping your digital life decluttered. Start by setting up a simple filing system. It could be folders on your computer or a physical file organizer. This way, you know exactly where every bill, bank statement, or financial document is. Now, let's talk about automating your finances. Set up direct debits for recurring bills. This move is a game changer. It's like having an autopilot for your regular payments. No more missed payments, no more late fees. Did you know that late fees can add up to a significant amount over time? By keeping enough funds in your account for these debits, you're not just avoiding late fees, you're also keeping your financial garden weed free. Number three, consolidate your debts. Handling multiple debts can feel like being in a kitchen with too many pots boiling over. Let's simplify it. Debt consolidation means combining all your debts into one. Think of it as having just one pot to watch. This could be through a balance transfer to a low or no interest credit card or a consolidation loan. By doing this, you reduce the amount of interest you're paying. It's a smart move. A study found that the average credit card interest rate is around 16%, which can make debt grow quickly. By consolidating, you're taking control of your debt rather than letting it control you. And once you've consolidated, cut up or use those old accounts occasionally. It's like saying goodbye to clutter. Number two, establish a regular savings habit. Pay yourself first. This isn't just a catchy phrase, it's solid financial advice. Start by saving a small amount regularly. It could be as simple as dropping coins into a piggy bank or setting up an automatic transfer to a savings account. This habit is crucial. Did you know that according to a survey, only 41% of Americans would be able to cover a $1,000 emergency with savings? By saving regularly, you're building a financial cushion for unexpected expenses. And let's talk about compound interest. It's like magic for your savings. The earlier and more regularly you save, the more your money grows over time, thanks to interest on top of interest. It's not just about what you save, it's also about how long you save. Number one, plan and track your spending. Where does all your money go? It's time to play detective with your finances. Start by creating a spending plan. List down all your expenses, rent, groceries, utility bills, and even that occasional coffee treat. This plan is your financial roadmap. It's important to know that, on average, people who budget save more than those who don't. Also, aim to save at least 10% of your income. Think of it as paying your future self. And here's a pro tip, don't spend the leftovers. Instead, save any extra cash. It's like finding a bonus at the end of the month. This approach puts you in the driver's seat of your finances. You're not just tracking where your money goes, you're directing it to create a better financial future. There you have it folks, 10 solid steps to kick those money worries to the curb. Remember, it's about taking control, one step at a time. Subscribe with us and learn. If you find the information in this video valuable, please subscribe to watch more videos like this and also share it with family and friends. Write I subscribed in the comment section below and let us know of topics that interest you in the subject of finance. Please hit the like button and the notification bell to be notified. There's more waiting to be learned in our next video. Our aim is to provide you with high quality educational content and information to help you learn, apply, and hopefully be financially free one day. Please click on these two videos to explore even more. The contents of this video are for educational and informational purposes only. Thanks for watching.